All right. I got the fan on because it's stupid hot in here. So if you hear the humming, that's the fan, <laughs> obviously. All right, so I was just getting this set up. Um, what do I want to build first? Um, let's go Paladin. Paladin seems pretty cool. I'm excited about Paladin, at least. Oh, I'm muted. <laughs> oh, thanks for the sub, by the way. But. My bad, dude. It's. I'm not kidding. My fucking legs are sweating like crazy. I'm dying. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna fight it out this time. I was like, I was pretty tired last stream, too. So right now, my plan is I'm probably going to end up streaming on Thursday and Friday. I'm thinking, uh, just trying to abandon you. No. I'm thinking about taking, uh, taking the day. So I already have the day off on Thursday because I have to go to a doctor's appointment. And that's actually the release of the new expansion. And then I'm thinking about possibly taking Friday off too, just to, uh, so I can just chill and kind of do whatever. So I might be streaming all day Thursday and Friday. Alright, we're, um, we're to figure out this Libram style deck. Oh, nice. Are you, uh, so you're back into work and stuff. I remember last time we talked to you, we were still dealing with the crap from, obviously, coronavirus. Oh, nice. Are you back at, um, or you, I think you were Best Buy, right? Wait, you got the corona? No shit, really. So you were tested and everything and they were like, yeah, you got it. How bad did you feel? One to ten. Dog shit or like... Just sick. It was brutal. How did you get it? Did you go out somewhere? Did you like hang out with some people or some shit? That fucking sucks though, dude. I didn't really get bad case. No breathing issues. 
Ah, oh, so you pretty much got the... It's like having the flu, right? That's what I'm hearing, I think. I'm not paying too much attention. Dude, I'm such a fucking... I lay so low. I really only go to, uh... Out of the house a little bit. Oh, damn! Dude, that sucks. Hopefully your mom's okay. I'm sure she is. Since she didn't say anything. Come in red shield and then summon one with copy of it. I don't think that's probably that great. This is potential. Super bad flu, but yeah, she had a bit worse than I did. Yeah, that's good, dude. So my area my area didn't get it. I, I don't think we've gotten hit too bad. I'm not jinxing it or anything. I don't, you know. I go into an office and shit. I'm not thinking of it as, like, anything. Like, oh, it's nothing. I definitely don't have that mentality. But our area, definitely knock on wood, is pretty, pretty light. Time for me to get out. Damn, dude. That's crazy. Hope. I don't know if that's gonna fit in. No taste or smell for two weeks. I can't imagine that. I'd probably get really skinny at least. I just wouldn't eat anything. Or I'd eat super fucking healthy and just be like, alright, I'm gonna fucking eat whatever I don't like. First three days of having the virus. Damn, dude, that's, that's a fucking lot of weight. I'm trying to lose weight somewhat healthy. Dude, mono is the best diet ever had. I got mono when I was uh, 22. I went from 225 to 165 pounds. Pretty fucking ridiculous. See... The thing, I have a weird, I don't know how you're built. Whatever, I don't know how, you know, I'm, I'm pretty broad, dude. Dude, I look like shit at 160. Like, I don't look good if I'm, I would say the best I look is about 220. Like, right now I'm shooting for, I'm, I'm trying to get down to about 220. And I last weighed myself. I went to the doctor and I was 255, which actually is not <laughs> that bad for where I thought I was, so I was kind of surprised. Not saying that's good or anything, but I think those are all the cards we need for this, possibly... Dude, 160, I looked like a fucking... I just looked like a stick with a head on it. It was weird. I looked terrible at 160. Like, 180. I would say 180 is not bad. If you weigh 180 and you're, like, fit... That's not bad, but I also different. I'm not like the guy. I don't want to have like a six pack of shit. I want to be big, so I'm I'm not like built or anything right now. 
<laughs> fast as fuck. I don't know if I was fast as fuck. I didn't even run. I barely moved when I was 160. This might go in there. Yeah. Dude, I'll be honest. If I was playing football, I wouldn't want to be anything under 180. I'd say 180 is like the limit. I didn't play football at all. I played, uh, I, I was mainly a basketball player. And in basketball, I would say I liked, I liked being the size I was. I was like a small forward. At least in my school. Obviously, I know I'm not very big. If I was, you know, if I went anywhere in college and stuff, I would end up being a, uh, a point guard because I'm only six foot one. But Did you just have your surgery? Shit, I almost threw my fucking mouse. For some reason I thought you just had it, like, not that long ago. Ah. Oh, dude, there's another freaking thing, I think. Alright, man. Oh, I got it. I think there's a lot of drugs. I gotta look up my Libra Paladin. One second. Come on, Hearthstone. Let's see here. Oh yeah, I remember now. The Librum thing. You. Yep. 
guess Argent isn't working in this. Probably, I don't know. Pyro. Yeah, let's just do one wild pyro monster. Could throw in Consecration. <clears throat> Excuse me. Kind of like Wretched Tutor. It's like a little extra board player. Yeah. Probably through Blessing Authority. One in. One on one, maybe? I 
anything else that lowers the cost? Just that one. Tim. Yeah, that's it. people using for it. I say. Makes sense. Uh it's kind of controlish. Kind of spellish. Maybe spell? Nah, that's even. Found it. One second. Oh. Alright. Did it save? Son of a bitch, it's not shaved. That's good. Do another paladin. Big paladin. Yeah, we can do this. The problem with this is that he, oh, it's gamble. I'd like to put him in there. But it's gamble. Call to adventure. Definitely good. Dual. Commencements. Both of those. That big boy. Um, 
a chance that that works, but if it's dual, not as good. Sarah probably... True Vanguard and Evasive Dragon are definitely not too bad. Oh boy, this is some um, interesting. Didn't I save my dual paladin in here? Maybe I didn't. I could have sworn I did. Well, here's a duck. That's gone. Yeah, most of the big boys are gone. Life Forge Blessing is still there, though. Let's actually go to Arthur. I mean, not uh, HS replay. Oh, it's dot now. Welcome back. I definitely uh, want a pizza now, thank you for that. Paladin. All right, win rates. Just spent $70 a pizza? What the shit? Damn, man. I'm trying to be good and not eat pizza and stuff. Like that much. Can't say it's uh I'm doing okay. Dude, I'm feeling some pizza.
doesn't help much. You're watching Mr. Beast and he's eating pizza? Mr. Beats is pretty fucking awesome. He's pretty cool. I, I've been really liking, uh... I've been watching a lot of Charlie. Uh, it's, uh... Moist Critical. He's pretty cool. I've also been watching a lot of basketball stuff because of, uh... I watched that Last Dance documentary. Shit was amazing. You might have talked me into getting a pizza. Though. Joey Chestnut, that's not a name I haven't heard in a while. Dude, I don't know what the fuck to put in this deck. First day of school could probably work. Nine pounds less of pizza, seven of them versus one of him. Dude, Joey Chestnut's a beast. It always blows my mind when you look at these like hot dog eating guys. Any any competitive eaters. But they're usually in pretty good shape. Like, how the hell are you in that much shape? Like, you eat so many calories. Yeah, what's that Asian guy's name? He's a freaking beast. He's a six-pack and... A beer gut or anything? I don't know if I'm thinking about the same guy. Maybe that's what he looks like now. <laughs> Dude. Wait a minute. Holy shit, dude. He's that big of a guy? I know he's that big. 237 pounds is pretty solid, dude. Is he a fat 237 or is he a in shape 237? That's the question. Ah. That's my thing. I don't really care what my weight is, like number. It's all based on how I look. I'd like to be a little, a little less chunky. Got that chunk going on for me. No, this is not coming together good at all. I have no idea what to put in here. And this fan's doing nothing. I'm fucking sweating. Sweating my dick and balls off right now. I feel like I'm just in a fucking sauna. Hmm. I think I'm in trouble. Let's look and see what other people are doing for dual paladins. I'm sure somebody's got a dual paladin. Yeah, it's just like the one. Dex. Dulos Road, that's absolutely not it. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, it's just water weight, though. <laughs> I actually just bought some running shoes so I can start running a little bit. I'll get there too, don't worry. 
decks. It contains dual. How? This doesn't have dual in it. Oh, I didn't hit the filter bug. Wild and crew. Big palette. Let's look at big palette. Uh, actually. Yeah, let's just look at this big palette. And dual palette 1.0. Okay, okay. Yeah, a reader fits. I didn't think about that. Not sure about Judicious Junior. Not sure about Sphere of Sapiens. I would say no. It was also a Yeah, my my point of running is I um I don't want to be a fat fuck anymore. So I'm trying to run. <laughs> That's my motivation. And in a weird way, it's to, uh, <laughs> this sounds weird, it's like the show, one, it's obviously to, to be more attractive to girls, so then, you know, you can get a better looking person, whatever. And, uh, also in a way, it's like, kind of shove it into my ex-girlfriend's face, she's a fucking bitch. Yeah, I, I fluctuate pretty easily, but my fluctuations happen at, um, they're, they're pretty spread out. So, like, I'll be chunky for, like, two years, and then I'll be skinny for about two years. Well, I'll be fit for about two years. My goal is, uh, by the time I'm 30 years old, which is next year, I'm fucking old, uh, by the time I'm 30, I want to be the best shape I've ever been in my life. That's my goal. <clears throat> so it's not... <sighs> I know, fuck man. I'm already on death's bed. It's not so much that I... I don't want to be like ripped out of my mind or anything, but... Definitely want to be fit. I forgot about that card. Scrap Air Colossus. What color were T Rexes? <laughs> I want to say green. <laughs> they probably were like brown. <sighs> I'm at a point where I don't want to be gripped by a wood. I won't have a six pack. I don't want a six pack anyways. I just want to be built. I want to be like, I, I'm a pretty big guy in general. Like my, my arms usually are pretty solid, which I like. I don't like, I don't want to be like a really skinny, like ripped dude. I want to like where obviously I'm cut a bit, you know, where you can see some definition. I don't want to be like where I'm just like kind of fat big. Um, but I, I want to where, you know, I got a somewhat flat stomach and big arms, shit like that. That's about it. <laughs> Nothing too crazy. And a doll probably fits pretty well. Imagine going to throw in the Light Forge Blessing because it's healed. It's a pretty good amount of heal, too. Dual Paladin. Three. Oh, three. Is dual in here? This fucking 
my my goal when it comes to fitness for myself isn't really based on a number I don't care I could be 250 and happy depending on how I look it's more of how I feel and I want to be capable of doing things if people just ask me so if somebody like hey you want to come run this 5k with me or whatever you know not that that's happening very often but um, my new job actually they do a lot of stuff where people run in sponsorships and whatnot so my thought is if I get asked or something like that I'm able to do it without really doing much like I'm already trained into doing it that's kind of the mentality right yeah like right now I'm I'm definitely not content with where I'm at um, I'm getting better Yeah, I would, I would definitely, I would like to finish. I want to do one of those like Spartan races or like those mud runs or something where th those kind of seem a little bit more fun than just running in general. So, dude, my ass is just fucking sweating. <laughs> Holy shit. This, ch this chair in this area sucks. <laughs> All right, what do we got here that we can work with? Definitely putting Reaper Sight then. I like Rattle Gore. Oh. How long have I been sitting here? I feel like I've, it's only been 43 minutes. <laughs> Holy shit. I hate how my apartment is. Oh, man. Or why not? It's for fun. Oh, I forgot the sound just shuts off for like a minute. Headmaster Kelth is sad. Could could be okay. Not sure how good though. I don't think it's gonna fit in here yet. I'll be honest, I don't know where the hell head of Magic Out this side fits right now. Because Brawl doesn't work because it's gonna kill him, I think. With the good cards, I know. <laughs> it's more of just trying to figure out what is like what fits. Oh, I will. I'm gonna win. Could do Playmaker. Playmaker's interesting. For some reason I get like overwhelmed sometimes when I look at these cards and I'm just like, man, I don't know what I'm going to play. And then I just don't want to build anything. <laughs> Rustless Mummy... Could 
do a uh, an arg. I've been, uh, which I pretty much gave up now, for like right now, uh, I was on, <laughs> I went on Tinder and stuff like that, Tinder, Bumble, and all that shit, for a little bit, I'm like, yeah, we'll see what the fuck's out there, haven't really been on it before, went on there, and I, uh, matched like a few people or whatever, talked to this one girl, well, first of all, every girl I've talked to, they talk to you for like two days, and then they're gone. They ghost you. It's like weird. They don't have the attention span to talk anymore. Clearly I'm that boring. Dude, it is a fucking joke. And so I met a girl on that Bumble app, whatever, first. And she was, we were talking a bit. It's like, hey, let's get something, you know, let's go grab a drink or whatever. And it's right by my work. So we went there quick. Went down, talked, hung out, whatever. Great time. Break balls, this, that, whatever. Talked to her the next time. She was like, oh yeah, we should hang out again and stuff. And I'm like, well, what do you want to do, whatever. She's like, I don't know. What do you what do, you do on a, in a coronavirus rainy day? I'm like, I don't know. I mean, you can come over and we can chill, get something to eat. It doesn't really matter to me. And she's like, all right, well, maybe uh, like Thursday or something. This was on like a Monday. Got up to it. Talked a little bit that day. Talked a little bit the next day. Wednesday, she sent like one message. And then Thursday, didn't hear anything. The entire day, up until we were supposed to hang out. I just ignored it, whatever. She sent me a message. She's like, five. Oh, I got super busy. Sorry. And I'm like, is it that you got super busy? Or is it just that you uh, you just didn't want to come over? You were like nervous to come over or something. She's like, well, I, I think it was a little early to hang out. Like earlier, right? I'm like, all right, well... She's like, maybe we'll do dinner instead. Okay, whatever. So we plan on that, like, Saturday. So it's Thursday. Then two more days, whatever. Don't really say much. Saturday comes around. I, I was like, I already had it in my head. I'm like, we're not fucking hanging out. And she didn't say anything, obviously. So I just stopped talking to her. She randomly sends me a message. And she goes... I think you're a great guy and stuff, but I'm taking an assignment because she was like a traveling nurse. You know, and I think we live too far away. I'm like, okay, whatever. Good enough. <laughs> yep. That's how my experience is with uh, Tinder and shit like that. Dude, literally. Oh, I got a better one, actually. I might have. I There's a chance I told this on stream once. I had a, the first girl I ever, like, talked to on Tinder. It was right when the coronavirus happened. Start talking. She goes, she was really forward with me. And she's like, oh, you, uh, you know, blah, blah, you, you got, you got Snapchat or something if we could talk on there. It'd be easier. I'm like, yeah, sure, whatever. So we start talking on Snapchat. I'm like, well, so how you, you know, how you doing? How, how you holding up and everything? Because it was the beginning of the coronavirus. And she's like, well, to be honest, not very good. And then sends me this fucking book <laughs> of, of shit. I'm just like, okay, all right, I guess I'm ready. I start reading it. She's talking about how she went to some doctor's appointment and stuff. And I looked up the doctor, and it was like a cancer doctor. And I'm like, oh, boy. I'm like, that's not good. So then the bottom part of it, she was like, I hung out with my niece. I hung out with my niece and nephew. And... The, you know, the father thinks he was exposed. 
and all of them started or like feeling or were kind of feeling off and the and the girl like coughed in her mouth when she was holding her and she said I can't get off of my bed I feel like shit and I'm like oh damn and I'm like or whatever I, I said something or whatever and then she didn't fucking she didn't answer for 13 weeks didn't like for 13 weeks from that day I messaged her she hasn't opened the Snapchat since like, because I said something to her for like like two times in a row. Didn't say a fucking word. I'm like, this girl's dead. She died. 100% dead. <laughs> now, my buddy comes over to my house and he goes, text her. <laughs> I'm like, is that weird? Like, I, like dude, she... Like, what if she actually is, like, dead or something? It's so weird. Text her. Hour later, she says, Hi, Brad. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck happened? She's weird as shit now. She she'll, she sends me a message once every five days. And she keeps saying, like, Oh, we should get together. We should hang out and stuff. I'd like to get to know you. I'm like, bitch, what the fuck happened? It's the weirdest thing I've ever seen in my life. Dude, I'm, I'm convinced it's harder now than ever to meet somebody, to like, to like date somebody. It's fucking impossible. And like, I, dude, as weird as it sounds, yeah, seriously, it's so weird. I, every every girl I've ever dated, I've met through somebody I know, whether I went to like a friend's party. They knew the girl, or um, I was working with a girl, and she was like, "I know a girl that's perfect for you." We, she hooked me up with her, or whatever, stuff like that, right? And right now, it's just like it's a fucking. I've never been in such a lull in my life. I've been I've been single longer than I've ever been in my life, too. It's weird, real weird. Jesus Christ. That should have... Was that awkward? <laughs> I think that'd be pretty awkward. <laughs> I work... So, at my new job, my um, first girlfriend's brother works there with me. Which, thankfully, I'm on good terms with that girl. So it's not bad. But, still. Got another story. So, with the... All the shit's been going on and stuff. First girl, no issues. Second time, I went to a grab or something. I my ex was like, what the... Yeah. Dude, it depends. Girls are weird too, anyways. Like, sometimes. One minute they'll be alright. It depends on who they're surrounded by. Um, but. So, during the whole virus thing, right? Me and my ex. We have a. We had a weird relationship, right? And I said, I was like, hey, you know how a cousin know what I do? She said, oh, yeah. Why? Ooh. And then at that point, you just walk away. <laughs> You're like, well, it looks like we're not talking. <laughs> but anyway, so my, my ex, um, we had kind of a, we had like a weird relationship because broke things off and we were okay where we'd like still talk and we'd hang out, but she didn't want anything to do with me. I, I've, I told a little bit about her where she was like really stifling for me. She didn't like for me to like do stuff that I enjoyed. But anyways, obviously I, I found her attractive and stuff and I, I liked hanging out with her and talking to her and stuff, but 
I, I kind of hung out with her because it was like there was nothing else around and I just never was finding anything right well I'm like you know what maybe I'll try to work on it and see where it leads to and who knows maybe things will be better because we have time part so she hits me up she's like hey let's go to the beach I've got my uh, I got my niece and nephew they want to go to the beach and stuff let's go together I'm like all right. all right so we go have a great time super nice gotta watch the kids we're hanging out with them doing stuff whatever and she's like oh thank you so much you know I couldn't have done this without you you know tomorrow is my cousin's uh, engagement party you should come with me and then the next day we should do something and I was like all right yeah, cool it sounds good to me so I'm like well what time's your cousin's engagement party whatever like just so I know it's like you know I, I don't know I'll let you know all right I asked and she's like I, I gotta check my phone or whatever I'm like all right well we'll see so then I asked her again before I left or whatever she's like I don't I don't know I still don't know I gotta have them send me it. Okay. Text her a little later. I was like, oh, I hope you got home. All right, you know, and stuff like that. She didn't say anything. Yep, yeah, yeah, thanks again. Next day comes around. I'm waiting, waiting, waiting. Doesn't say anything. I'm like, you fucking bitch. Whatever. Doesn't say anything. So, don't hear from the entire day. I'm like, all right. Typical for my life. So then, Sunday comes along. Still haven't heard anything, and I'm like, I'm like, well, so much for uh, me going to the, you know, just kind of break the balls of So much for me going to the thing. She just sends me. She goes, I can't do this anymore, or whatever. I ca I can't talk to you anymore. And I'm like, what the fuck. I'm like, so you can use me. So you have somebody that can watch your fucking niece and nephew because you said you couldn't have done it by yourself anyways. And as soon as that's over, you know, now you don't need me. All that shit. I'm like, it's pretty fucked up using me like that. And uh, she's like, I didn't mean to hurt you, this, that, whatever. And then she, and then she blocked me on every single thing. And that was that. And I'm like, like I didn't even do anything wrong. Like you know, I was just, dude. I just, I, I hate the fact that I feel like I just get stepped on so much. It's so frustrating. So frustrating, man. That's just my life, though. I've I've said this a, a lot. I don't know a single person in the world that I've met, I should say, that has to like most people I know have to like kind of work for like like they work for some stuff, but then some things just kind of land in their lap and it works, you know. People are dicks to them. Oh yeah, dude. I mean, I'm not like that whole nice guy thing. Like, it's it's not that at all. I don't think that like I don't think it has anything to do with me. I just think it's these girls have the mentality of they at least around here. This is just my area. I because I can't say anything about out, outside of my little area, right? In the, my area, it just seems like every girl that is single, mind you. Not like girl. I know a lot of girls that are taken and they're super nice. And I'm like, damn, it's too bad they're taken because they'd be awesome. But they got this chip on their shoulder and they act like it's like, what are you gonna do for me? Like, like I got this guy over here. I got three guys lined up. They're gonna talk to me. It's like, what are you doing for me? Of why I'm not gonna talk to them. Whatever. Yeah, there's a reason why they're taken. That's why they're nice. <laughs> Man, I'm sucking with building decks right now. Shit. I can't, I can't think of anything. But I... And then... And my, th my thing... And this is also another reason why I feel like I gotta get in shape. So... I... Don't have... Like... I have different tastes than my friends. My friends like very fit, like skinny girls, right? Yeah, I am fucking rusty, dude. 
I, I can't even think right now. But when it, when it comes to girls, like, my friends are very much like, oh, I want to have a girl that's super fit, skinny, and this, that. They don't even care what, like, girl can be beat as fuck in the face, right? And I'm more like, it's just, and, you know, obviously it's personal preference. It means nothing or whatever. Like, they're, they're going to be still pretty. It's just, like, my my preference is I, I usually like a girl that's a little bit thicker than that. Yeah, I, I want a girl with a pretty face and, you know, it, this is the weird thing. I don't want a girl that's as big as me. Like, I'm a pretty big guy. I don't think that's hard to, like, I, like, dude, I can't believe, Tinder, it's like, it's, you know, either the hottest girl you've ever seen or it's like a girl that looks like me. <laughs> So, uh, it's, it's pretty strange. I've, yeah, I've never seen a thing where it's like, I don't even believe it, to be honest. Like, you're telling me that I, you know, there's there's no in between. There's no like regular girl like where it's like, oh, you know, they're cute. <laughs> I can see talking to them. They're cute. It's like either where I dude. There's sometimes I see some of these hot girls and I'm like, I don't even I don't even want to date you. You're too attractive. Like I'm, then I'm gonna have to worry about who the fuck you're talking to and who's, you know, where you're gonna leave me just because some other guy comes because <laughs> you're so hot. <laughs> like I don't want to deal with that shit. Lake Thresher, Teacher's Pets, Feather Runner, Guardian Animals. Survival of the Fist. Could do all move, but I don't know about that. Let's check out the other piece. Neutral. Five. Not much. Four. Not much either. Maybe escape mana. Could do innervate. Oh, you know what? Speaker Gidra. I like Groundskeeper too. Maybe Overgrowth, we'll see. Surger. Overflow.
But yeah, I, I think the, the negative thing when it comes to girls or like physically, my ex-girlfriend was pretty much exactly what I wanted. But the problem was uh, it didn't matter she was exactly what I wanted for physical because like there was no physicality to us. We acted like a 99 year old couple. So that's obviously a negative. Oh yeah, dude, it was terrible. And that's the thing, is like, we we try to talk about it a little bit here and there. And I was like, listen, I'm not like, and I'm not, I'm not the type of person to be like, yo, I gotta fucking be plowing out twice a day. <laughs> it doesn't even have to be daily and stuff, but it's like, every once in a blue moon, you know, and that was the thing, like, I'd go over, yeah, you sit there, say some stuff, and nope. It's one of the only ones. Yeah, I just, I don't know. I I got, I think I just was in such long relationships. I don't have that. And like, I would rather have a, I'd rather have a meaningful relationship. And, you know, it, I find it more fun to do things with somebody I actually care about than just some random fucking person. I, I look at it like this. I I agree with that too. It's it's obviously fun and it's enjoyable, obviously. <laughs> but when you look at the overall picture, how what's the percentage of your relationship that is sex versus everything else, right? Like you combine everything in your relationship. How what is the percent? What maybe like on the high end, 5%? I would say. It's probably more like 2. And when you think of that, that means that everything else is what matters more. And yes, it does play an important role. Like There needs to be something there. But it's not like that's going to make or break the relationship. Unless it's non-existent. And you're this, like, like how mine was. Mine was non-existent and it was to the point where I was like, wow... She doesn't even, like, find me attractive. Like, my own girlfriend doesn't even fucking like me. Like, look at me and shit like that. So, it, like, I was, like, fucking real... Still am. Super low self-confidence. Just feel like dog shit about stuff. But, you know, that's... And that's what it is. Like, you know... I, I feel like it's just more important to be, like, you, you need to be able to have fun with a person. Kind of like a best friend type thing, you know. Man, I can't type for shit today. Uh, it's kind of nice.
that's and that's the thing. I'm I'm an ass guy. You know, I mean, for me, that's that was my thing with my my ex. My ex had a fucking nice ass, and that was, you know, not saying that's what made anything. It's not the reason why I dated her or anything, but like. She was, where some people might be like, oh, she wasn't whatever. Like, she was a thicker girl than, pro- I would say she was a little thicker than average, whatever. She wasn't, like, huge or anything, but she, she had some big, she had some big, uh, big legs and, and ass. <laughs> so, but, uh, she was, she was good looking to me. Yeah. Eyes are huge for me, too. Eyes are probably my favorite thing, uh, by far. But, yeah. I'm definitely an ass and an ass guy more than a titty guy. <laughs> oh, dude. Stuff I've learned. Well, yeah, teeth definitely are important, obviously. You gotta have good set of teeth on you, but, um, I don't know if I could date a smoker, I've tried, hmm, don't know if that's happening, I, d- I dated one, and it was pretty rough, did I put that one thing in here, yeah, Smoking's rough. Um, I like I can't do it with somebody that's a big drinker, a smoker, druggy, anything like that. Ah. Like if you if you drink casually and stuff, obviously that's fine. But yo, if you're getting like fucked up pretty often, like <laughs> it's it's kind of weird. At least to me it is. I might have to get up. Gotta let my my legs get less soaked in sweat. <laughs> the people are either still stuck in their high school district. Oh, dude, I'm I'm older than you are. I'm I'm pretty sure I am, and uh, that's pretty much my life. I mean, fuck, dude. Everybody I know is, yeah, and that's the shit thing. Dude, can you imagine this shit? I'm 29, and the amount of girls that are around my age have kids, are like divorced, and shit. It's like I don't know if I want to pick up somebody's. I'm like here's here's my thing. I want to have a kid. I want to get married. I want to have a house, stuff like that. And it's just like that's my mentality right now. I don't know if that shit's. <laughs> it just it feels like it's almost impossible. At least in this area, it just feels like it's impossible to find somebody that's decent. And it's hard because you're like... Alright, man. See you later. I'm probably actually going to get food myself here in a minute. Do this one. Vacation, brain freeze. 
actually going to try the primordial studies. Even though I think it's bad. Session. Good for Pentlinger in there. I mean, it's. Alright, give me a second. I'm going to go stand up for a minute.
Maybe I'll try to get one more deck done and then go grab some food quick. I changed my shirt because I said I'm really freaking hot. Hunter. Yeah, why not? Put a python. I don't know what else I'd rush. Welcome back. That was quick. Holy shit. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, I'm still debating what I want to eat. I'm either going to just go grab Subway quick, or I might order pizza myself now. All your fault. Pizza was the right choice. Think about pizza and wings, that's what I'm thinking too. I wouldn't get much. They, there's a place down the road for me that has like a personal pizza. And then you can get a pound of wings for like 10 bucks. It's really not bad. It's like enough for one person too. Yeah, it's, dude, it's pretty good. It's one of those upside down pizzas, too. If you ever heard of that. I think they call it, they also call it Grandma's Pie or some shit like that somewhere else. So, there's a chance that you've heard of that called Grandma's Pie. I call it upside down pizza. It's pretty good. Yeah, so the sauce is over the cheese. Exactly. Chicago deep dish. Yeah, I think it's a little more common in New York, probably, than other places.
looks like he's looking at shit. It's not bad, though. I think I'm gonna fucking do it. I think I'm gonna get that fucking pizza. God damn it. Yeah, it's not Chicago. It's... It's just, uh... I don't know. You gotta think, though. I'm also in New York, so we got, like... We got, like, the best pizza probably in the fucking world. <laughs> Balls. Alright, one second. Dude, the I still think the best pizza I've had is this little shit hole place in the country, out uh out in around here. It, it was I think it's still the best pizza, but people argue or whatever. Actually, there's a place that's probably a f it's it's not where I'm getting the pizza right now from. Um, they're actually not open on Sundays, which is really weird. But uh. There's this place that's right, literally walking distance from my house, and it's uh, it's pretty damn good. Probably the best pizza I've ever had. Damn, doing the rush ones might not be bad. Eh, I think this is not bad. Left. Priest. Oh, Forbidden Words is still in the meta. Oh. Raise the dead. Yeah, it's something like this. Um, what are we feeling here? God. Definitely want that card. Yeah, I'll say that works. That works. No, Vectus might not be bad in that Hunter deck. I'm probably gonna add it that quick. Dead. 
Decorate souls. Could do Scarlet Subjugator for the Cabal Accolade. Penis, definitely. Penis is even better with Flush Giant. Yeah, Mind Flayer is not bad. Holy no, is not terrible too. Visiting Infiltrators, pretty, pretty damn good. <laughs> I really don't even know what the hell I'm doing. From build wise. Maybe I want to build it as a singleton. I could. those in there. Shove it up. Shut up pain. Get plus two and restore to full health. Dude. I've been working seven days a week for so long. I go to bed about nine at night, every single night. Like a fucking old ass man. It's really weird. And it sucks. I just, I work nonstop and then I'm like, the day's over and I'm like, oh fuck. I'm so tired. <laughs> Oh yeah, I forgot you're like uh, one of those. Forgot about that. <laughs> Give a mini divine shield and summon a one-one copy of it. Works well with him. Him too, probably. I think he would get spell burst again. Missing infiltrator would be good. Yeah, I'll throw one of them. Shove in the grave room. Psych split. Good work with it too. Ball Shadow Priest. Water Bear. What do you got? That target. And Reaver. I probably should run Galakron in this. And Galakron is. Pretty solid. I'll run initiate. Initiation. Might as well, right? Any of the spell burst shit we could throw in here? Oh, you know what? I forgot. Zephyrs, 
Alpstraza. Spellburst. None of them come up. Ah, uh, Sphere of Sapiens might not be bad, actually. You know what's actually good in this, too? Vectus. And... Lord Keeper's probably pretty good. And maybe we get rid of a few things. Check it out. Uh, how good is Holy Nova? I don't know if Holy Nova is that good. It is a board clear though. We get rid of Imprison Homunculus. Alright, so Imprison Homunculus is gone. Twelve spells. Uh, Mana Feed of Panthara could be pretty good. Probably is pretty good to be honest. We'll throw it in there. Time that I call for the stamp pizza. Six forty-eight. So it's been eleven minutes. Seven oh eight's when I gotta go over there. You did inspire me. <laughs> I hate you for it. I hate you so much. <laughs> Damn, Mr. Beast. His influence. <laughs> you just got your unemployment shit two days ago? Damn, that, that took a while, huh? That must have been a fat check. Holy shit. <laughs> Fucking rolling in the dough, dude. Holy fuck. I wish I had that. I worked the entire time. I didn't make that much money. Pretty disappointing. I'm sad. You're an asshole, man. And by the way, I, I know that you, uh, you're you a big fan of the horror stuff. That stuff's definitely coming. Once. I'm. And I don't want to go back to work. Yeah, I mean, dude, when you make it that much money and then you're like. And you're not working. You're kind of doing whatever. And then you fucking go back to work and you're making shit wage. It's kind of hard. I don't blame you at all. Damage. <laughs> Realistically, though, I mean, you could, if you're worried and stuff, you could be like, yeah, I'm, I just, like, I was thinking about this. Realistically, how, how do they know if you, because for my work, for example, not that I, obviously, I've been going to work for freaking since it started. Um, I haven't, I haven't said anything, but like I think about it sometimes. I'm like, what does it take for somebody where they're like, yo, I get exposed to it. 14 days, I gotta be out now. 
Like, what what correlates to I was exposed? Damn. Yeah, I don't think they really care. I think they're kind of like, all right, see you later. <laughs> Exactly. And nobody wants to do... That's the thing that's weird of, like, why I'm surprised you're kind of... Like, I'm surprised you're thinking about opening schools up again. Because it's like... You do realize that it's not hard for people to get exposed. And then you fucked everybody in that school. Well, my sister's an elementary school teacher, and she's going in. As of right now, they haven't canceled it. Yeah, exactly. It's per I think it's pretty fucking weird. I would neither. I would definitely not send my kid if I... Like, if I had a kid right now, psh, they ain't going anywhere. I mean, it pretty much should be a homeschool year anyways. person means because of it no chance I am just kidding exactly and what the, well the weird thing is this even if like all it takes is one kid to be exposed and if the one kid's exposed you exposed all the other kids then they're probably closing the school anyways because of one kid being exposed it's like if all of this stuff can happen just because of one person then like what's the point of opening it up I don't know if this would work. Let me check out this again. I gotta get going here soon to go get it. I'm not gonna turn off the stream. I'm just gonna, um, I'll be AFK and I'll go get the food quick. It won't be long. It's right down the road for me. Copy the lowest cost demon in your hand. Outcast, give both plus one plus one.
Oh, uh, I gotta go now. You're right. I will be back. Oh, I'll watch. <laughs> Ow, fuck. Oh. I've also heard that there's rumors that Diablo 2 Remaster might be coming out this year. Just rumors. Ass magic missile. <laughs> What's up, level one? How you doing, man? It's been a while. Seems harder than Dark Soul. The yeah, possibility of Diablo 2 Remaster. I've heard the rumors. That happens. Yeah, no, no G riffs. Darn. Hopefully, nothing comes over from Diablo 3. <laughs> I guess this would work too. I'll throw it in there. Dude, nice job. Oh, Lord. <sighs> Alright, Joe. Have a good one, man. I might... I don't know. I might finish this deck and uh, call it, but... There's a chance I... Um... <clears throat> the Beckham board feature. Yeah. That can pour it's definitely help. You play a lot of Hearthstone or no level? Hmm.
I might just throw in a... I think I'm probably one drop. Use the sergeant. You just get the five deck wins? I haven't even gotten five deck wins in the past, like, freaking two months. I didn't play a lot of the last uh, expansion. I... It's too fucking hot for me. I can't sit at this computer. <laughs> That's good. What do you uh what do you like to play? I, I'm sure you probably play a little bit of everything, but do you have like a favorite class or anything or no? Try to we get rid of. Uh, Shaman Rurlock, though, okay. I got you. Uh, I gotta... That's... You... I probably need to cut some stuff and get some... Uh, ramp in here. Yeah, I played pretty early in the beta. Um... I didn't start recording until about Max Ramus, and it didn't even do much then. I'd say I really started doing uh, YouTube and Twitch stuff around probably the Grand Tournament is when I started doing it. One, that's free, free. I probably need something to ramp up higher though. I could do Sphere of Sapien. Definitely need some. Whether it's Wild Growth or Overgrowth. We just get rid of Grish all together. Go in the overgrowth. I'll leave it, I guess. I don't feel like there's enough small spells. There's four that'll cost zero at seven mana. There's just rats, strength of numbers, and that's it. Could get rid of Crownskeeper. You kind of like Crownskeeper. We'll do Lightning Bloom. What 
we got here? Where's your boy? <laughs> got two paladin, mage, hunter, priest, warlock, druid. I need demon hunter, rogue, shaman, warrior. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do much more. Oh, it's rough. Diligent note taker. Say rune dagger is pretty cool. Could also do a um, totem shop. That's lava burst. Uh, if you spell last turn, discover spell. Yep. Serpent shrine. Speak your Gidra. Yeah, probably, probably good enough. Shattered Rumble is not bad though. Or below. Lightning bolts. I am in New York, and my room doesn't have an AC right now. Right next door to me has AC. So I am dying right now. It's 86 degrees in my apartment. Pretty fucking hot. We need something to do some damage here. Water cool. <laughs> Oh, you don't even know. Thing is, my so my apartment's really open. Um, it's just kind of so. The only reason why they run a room right here. So my bedroom has a door, and I have an AC in there, so I'm able to sleep at least good. And then in my living room, I have a smaller air conditioner. Barely, it barely works. It just takes basically humidity out. 
which I'm fine with. And I would put that right here where my computer is, or I would take the computer and put it in that room, but there's not enough outlets and nowhere to put the freaking computer. So I'm kind of stuck with it here. If I put the AC over here, I'd have to find some other way to block over here. And it's just like, ugh, rough. And I usually spend more time in the other room. It's my living room, my TV and stuff like that. It's where like, if I have friends over and whatnot, they hang out over there. So, it's rough. Argos. It's not terrible, actually. I might put him in here. Control tool. Okay. Yo, Corey, what's up? I'm zoning out. Dude, is it as fucking hot where you are as it is here? <laughs> Dude, it's, it's 84 degrees in my apartment right now, so <laughs> it's feeling pretty good. I've got a bit of a sweat going on here. <laughs> I got a good old, good old drive. It's like 94 degrees outside, 86 in the apartment. So you know, pretty pretty cool. <laughs> I got one more card to throw in here. Here for a little spice. Throw them in there. Eh, probably not. What do you got for draw mechanics? Well, my AC is in the other... So I don't have AC in this room. That's why it's so hot in here. My AC is in the other room. And I can't get into this room. So I'm just... I'm just done for. Yeah, 
Yeah. My bedroom's okay. I gotta turn that one on pretty soon. So when I go to bed, it's good. But right now, oof. Not fun. I'll just throw one of those in there. I'm really debating if I want to try to finish these last few out. Fill my water bottle. Let's try to do this. What are we building? Um, Do those throw here in there? Self sharpening sword. Where's gracious? Your passage. Um. Nah, man, I've been in the office for like three weeks. This is gonna be my fourth week. I'm supposed to be doing two weeks in the office and two weeks at home. But kinda got screwed over a little bit with that one. Cause the one there's only one other guy that's switching with me. And he worked the night shift last week. And now he's got two weeks where he's gotta quarantine himself because his ex went somewhere. Yeah. So not not super happy about that. Might actually mention it to somebody. Might be like, yo, so could we like try to get somebody else in here? I don't mind being in here, but you know. Let's see here. Great. I actually, so, I tried to help your mom with an issue, <laughs> and I was like, oh, you know what, it's not going to be too bad. Simple, quick, easy, uninstall, reinstall, and um, they really didn't like me at all, and it turned into like a two-day project for this other guy. <laughs> I kind of felt a little bad.
Like Sky Shiv. Looking for a spellbook scar. Uh, well, he, uh... So, I called him up and I was like, Hey, you want to give me a hand looking at this? And it... Because she was on, like, some pretty time-sensitive project, it became, like, a really big thing. So, and it, it was doing the same thing for him as it was me, so, and he just knows more because he's been there, obviously, a while, so, it just turned into kind of a fun project for him. <laughs> that in there. Yep. Actually. He's got the ball rolling in the right direction. Though. Yeah. Dude, I feel like I've been doing pretty well with the job. Like, not... Not saying I'm, like, amazing or anything, but... I'm holding my own. <laughs> All I can really care and say for. You know, I, I haven't been trained or anything. So. Just trying my best. That's all I can really. all I really can do. Preparation. Preparation, where is it? Is a one damage destroy anything? Rep. Got sausage. Uh, I wish there was a thing that could draw one specific card for me, but yeah, I I really like it there too. I mean, the only negative is the drive for me, as obviously you know where I live. Freaking forever to get to work. But, I mean, it's it's not like it's close to your mom either, so, not terrible. Super nice people, I mean, I was always blown away that everybody's like, you know, the same. Everybody's like your mom, and your mom's like super nice. <laughs> so it's like, holy crap. A nice company. I don't know if Breakers. How have things been with you? Everything good? I'm guessing still working from home, normal kind of stuff. Dude, it's crazy. It's the first time I've ever worked in a place where I felt like I was actually... 
I was actually like appreciated and felt like the you know like like my work was actually kind of doing something somewhat positive you know like like people were like oh wow I have no idea what to get rid of. Get rid of a pro. Ah, oh, damn, really? That sucks. Yeah, you bet. You've been at that current job for a while, though, right? So sometimes it's nice change of scenery. No work from home. Too many long hours. Yeah. The nice thing there too is, is like, for the most part, I've stayed one one night so far since I started. I've I worked one day over eight hours. Well. Technically, I, I work seven and a half hours and you get a half hour lunch, but um, I've worked one day where I worked an extra half hour. That was it. So, not too bad. <laughs> My focus so far, so, so past about two weeks now, um, I've been just trying to be a little bit healthier in general. Trying to work out a little bit, stop drinking soda, only drink early water. Um, just bought some running shoes so I can actually go run and stuff, try to lose some weight. Kind of just work hard, try to do my best in my job and when I get some free time, I'll play something, but it's not happening often. It's pretty, pretty busy days. Playmaker, Precythe. Cutting class. Uh, this is busy. It's always nice being at work. Yeah, dude. I feel you. Have a good one, man. I'll see you around.
I don't know how this is going to work at all. Oh, you get right up. A lot of these are a little too good to get rid of, to be honest. Some good cards. This one troublemaker. Outcast. Let's do big. Big. Demon Hunter. So, we'll start with... I mean... Holly Battlelord? Crazy Fell Screamer. Demon. Maybe I don't need this, but.
And a Kren seems pretty solid. Chaos Nova. Oh shit. Manatee the Panther. How many outcast cards do we have? There's two. Four. Is that it? Like it. Boom. Could just do a yeah, strikes too. All right, I'm out. So thanks for watching, guys.